Hello everyone. This is the first video in a new series based on creating reports within Cribmaster 11. Now this is an option that's been around since Cribmaster 10.15. Uh, it's the ability to create uh, reports directly within Cribmaster. Uh, before this option existed, if you wanted to create your own reports, you needed to do it in, a, in Crystal Reports and then import the, uh, the report you created. Now you can still do that, but we also have the option now that you can do it with directly in the system and you don't need to go out and, and purchase crystal reports or, or learn how to use it. So here in Cribmaster, I'm on the system ribbon. I'm going to go to database utilities and report management. Now about halfway down this list of buttons, there is this button called new custom report. So I'll click that. Now the first thing I need to do is give my report a name. And I'm not, this is not a name that will be there carved in stone. I can change it later if I need to. So for right now, um, we're going to create an inventory report. Now down here, I need to select the template that I want to use. Now the template that I pick is going to dictate what tables are available to me and what fields that I can pull onto my report. Uh, I find that the transaction report actually has the most uh, to choose from, um, but you can choose any of these other templates as well. I'm going to go ahead and click transaction report template. Now Cribmaster has opened up this new workspace for me. As you can see, it kind of looks a little bit like a Microsoft Office product. We've got the ribbon along the top, as well as your standard formatting buttons. But also, if you are familiar with Crystal Reports, this layout is very, very similar. There are some differences here and there, but um, even if you have no experience with Crystal Reports, you should still be able to use this program with no problem. Okay, now it's time to start adding some information to our report. Over here on the right side, this right pane, uh, you may notice we've got these three tabs here, Properties, Dictionary, and uh, I believe this is a Report Tree, but we want to go to the Dictionary. When you go to the Dictionary, you're going to see a tree format like this. If we want to go to Data Sources, we'll expand that. Underneath that, you're going to see the name of your database. In my case, it's called Cribmaster. Yours may be called something different. When I expand that, it's going to show me these uh, tables that are related to the template that, it, that we picked earlier, Transaction. Now we're basically building a transaction history report, so the fields that we want to pull are going to come from the trans table. So I'll expand that, uh, and what I want to do is I just want to create a simple report that shows um, item issues over a period of time. Uh, so the first thing we're going to pick is the item and I'm going to click and drag this over and it's pulling over two pieces of information. One is the item number which is this right here and the other one is the actual data. And what, I want to, what I want to do is uh, I want to expand these out a little bit using these little bounding boxes that are here. Alright, so that's the item number uh, but maybe somebody doesn't know what that item number is um, just by looking at it. Uh, so, so what we'll do is we'll come up here to this little items breakdown and then we'll pull over the items description. Spin that out a little bit. We'll do this one to match. Now I'm going to double click this upper header here because I want to change it's all, in, all, it's all in caps. It's got the one there. Um, I'm just going to change this to description. Just to make it a little easier to, to read. Okay. And we'll do, we'll do something similar to here. We'll, we'll, it'll still be called item. I just don't like the all caps. Let's call this item. Okay. So now uh, we've got the item that's being issued but uh, issued from where? Let me close that down a little bit. 
Uh, under the trends table, there is a field called station. Station is another word for crib. So let's click and drag that over and we'll move our header up there. I'm going to widen these out again. And we'll do a double click here and change this to crib. Now, we have our item, we have where it came from. What about the date that the transaction took place? Uh, that will be the trans date field. Let's grab and move that over. And once again, we'll do a little bit of formatting here. We'll just call this date. And we'll move this over as well. And expand that out a little bit. Okay, all right, so we have the item description, where it came from, the date it took place. How about the person receiving the item? That's going to be issued to. That's this guy right here. Let's move this over. And we'll move that out a little bit. And uh, once again, I like issued two. I just don't like the all caps. So let's just make that like that. There we go. All right. So the last piece of information we want to move over is the price. Um, what did this item cost uh, when it was issued? So we'll come over here to items, and then we'll pull over price. We want to pull over price, not cost. Okay. Uh, price is a cost is what you pay to the supplier to get the item and the price is what your customer or what your user would pay to retrieve the item even if your customer is not actually paying in real life um, it's still helpful to have the price there because price is what cribmaster uses to um, evaluate the the value of all your items in your uh, cribs all right. People have kind of long names, so I'm going to I'm going to give this a nice wide column. Uh, and then we'll also move these out a little bit. Move these over a little bit. Okay. All right. So let's see what this looks like. Okay. So this is a good start. Um, our report is a little basic, but in the next video, we're going to do some formatting and we're going to do some uh, fixing of the data and make it look much, much nicer. Uh, so stay tuned for that.